That's right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, look at this one. This one's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Final count with back 10. Final count with back 10. 576. 576. Yeah, that's the ring. Yeah, that's the ring bag. The ring is bigger than this one. It's silver one. Hold on. See, so like this bag has a number, but it's silver items. You notice here, there's central details. Um, it's about four motivated guys and a mine detector. We run through the whole area, and uh, in that particular area, we turned up um, five caches. Um, two being uh, four million a piece, and then the other two um, containing the jewels and um, about three hundred thousand dollars in American cash. The fifth uh, cache um, was documents, pictures, um, photos, um, some passports, some things like that that uh, pointed us towards. Um, that these people were definitely involved with Saddam's immediate family, and they were hiding or ca keeping the caches as kind of a safety deposit for him. The intelligence that we've got right now leads us to believe that uh, one of Saddam's close bodyguards um, was the initial owner of that house. And uh, when Saddam left, um, he disappeared with him. And from what it looked like when we hit the objective, um, the people there uh, were just there to guard it. They were just safeguarding the area. Um, they, I'm pretty sure that they knew what was there. Um, they hadn't, it hadn't looked like the house had been um, used by anyone besides the women. All the men had been sleeping outside, which is kind of an indicator that they weren't, they weren't living there. They were just keeping an eye on it for somebody. I know in Al Oja that same evening, uh, we were looking for uh, a, a list of Republican Guard officers. Uh, among them, we did, uh, we did find a Republican Guard Brigadier General and a Republican Guard Colonel that we were looking for.